moves he might be having to make too. Parries and such. Oh, actually this is... Oh, this is the winner's semis actually. Okay! So these are best of fives going on here? Oh wait, no. That's impossible. Because that last match was also winner's quarters. So that means... Well, let me double check real quick. Smash.gg slash hat. You guys can follow along the bracket with us. If you could type in exclamation point bracket, you can get the bracket link and see how things go down. Or you can follow SoCal in, in its entirety here using SoCalSmash.net for all your SoCal tournament needs. Alrighty. Let me go look and see. Ultimate singles. Yes. I'm sure the chat is just like yelling at me saying, This is quarters! And I just can't see it right now. Sorry, guys. I'll say there's 31 entrants today. We're almost done with it. 82% of the bracket done. Just running smoothly. <laughs> How many entrants? 32. 32. Yeah. Oh, 31. 31. 31 right. One away from a perfect 32 man bracket. Yo, man, that's at one point, like, you would have entered. <laughs> you would have like, yo, man, I got top 16. <laughs> two matches. Oh, well, you know, it is with semis. Oh, yeah, right, because Mars uh, beat. Copter. That was the other quarter smash. Okay, here we go. Um, this was not what I was expecting. I I thought we were gonna see the uh, Lucina. I thought that was a pretty decent matchup. Um, Veladin has a couple characters that he does keep in his pocket alongside from Lucina. He does have a Mario. He does have a Wolf. He does have a Roy as well. So I'm sorry. I, meant, I'm sorry, I think I said Muffin, but I meant Veladin. Veladin carries a couple characters in his pocket for sure. Yeah. Uh, looks like he's uh, just utilizing Samus' main game plan, which is being a wall, just trying to keep out their opponent, and then eliciting reactions using yeah. baby charge shot, oh. Zare, and, like, you know, jab one. It's not going to be a true combo to jab two, but you can get pressure like that if you make them hold shield. You can get a grab, set up into a back air like that. Yeah. Very nice stuff. Good pivot grab, and he keeps going off for the bomb ball setups because if they do hit Muffin, he will pop up and he go for a follow-up afterwards. Get a Zare, a charge shot, a forward air. Yeah, you just have to be careful because, of course, oh. that PSI Magnet mix-up is available, but that's all it is. It's a mix-up. It's not an oh. end-all, be-all for the charge shot. We'll have to see what the option is going to be. The bomb puts him off stage one more time. Good conditioning here, and he goes for the empty hop into the grab for throw. Another bomb ball to pressure Muffin, but he's able to get the absorption here. And the neutral air after the double jump. That's going to catch Muffin from Mars in the tough spot. That was very smart. If he did the directional air dodge, it would have caught it behind him, too. Mm -hmm. That nair just hits from the front and the back. And he actually lands a charge shot. That's really big damage, actually. And of course, Samus is a pretty heavy character, so won't die to a lot of Lucas stuff until later. And looks like Valadin is just going in crazy. Already 79% after the fair. Putting oh. on so much pressure and tacking on the damage before Muff can even get a chance to take the stock yet. Oh, good opportunity to go for the downer because the way that Muffin was angling the PK for, uh, Thunder was to make sure he hits him on the way back. Yeah, you can just see the, just like the very slight waits from Valadin to try and elicit a reaction first. If he catches him in shield, it's like, okay, this is my free opportunity to get a grab and continue the damage. A great get-up attack to be able to catch that pressure situation. <laughs> what a fake out, too, because he actually stalled the charge shot and faked out Muffin from going for the absorption. That Nair going to misspace itself, though, unfortunately. Not going to be able to get that stock, but still 142%. I mean, Samus can kill with like any of her limbs at this yeah. point. Very scary situation to be in. Falling up into neutral air. Muffin looking for a possible can cancel, but he missed the opportunity here. And Milani gets the better of it with the full charge shot yet again. Another one here that was nerfed on shield, but still shield pressure will matter nonetheless. I want to talk about how it wasn't even a fully charged uh, charge shot. That way he was able to be reverse that to be able to position himself, fake out Muffin, and be able to take out that oh. stock. Speaking of fake out, man, he able to get the grab and the neutral air, another opportunity and another nair. Bomb bottom making sure he goes low here and the down air spike was almost ready, but Muffin gets out of there in the nick of time. Yeah, he was a little bit too high. If he was even a centimeter lower, he probably would have been able to get that dare out. Mm -hmm. Tries to reflect back with the piece of wood. I don't know how that reflects back on this though, but you know what? This is Smash. Anything can happen here. I mean, we got, we got a character named Joker in Smash. <laughs> yeah. Right, but yeah, just uh, the percents are the same, but just the stock is overlapped. Oh. Oh, wow. He jumped up. Yeah, he jumped up. That yeah. was the problem. Also, Samus is very tall as well for, for her box. Yeah. Uh, Dark Samus' hurt box is even bigger, but uh, yeah. not quite going to be an issue here because it's playing regular Samus. We'll have to see. Oh, the jab again. That's what I'm talking about. Jab one pressure. You elicit the reaction by doing a dash back or you just wait in front of them and then you just keep yourself safe and then you're able to go for even bigger punish than jab two. Yeah, you check the block and really look to see what you can follow up afterwards. Here's the forward air. 
solid spacing on the back up. The problem was it wasn't enough to get away from Lucas's forward air. Stops himself in the recovery with the bomb ball, and he catches the get up. Yeah, that fair is so good at just catching, intercepting, and air-to-air -air combat. Just because if you preemptively do it, then you can just catch so many people trying to land and space you out with an aerial. It's a very great move in general for that. Okay, Freeze, not going to get yeeted to the blast zone, but that will feel like a yeet to the blast zone with the background on the landing. That was good awareness from the landing because he knows how Muffin loves to set up by the ledge. He loves being out. He loves being at the ledge with you because he can safely space his air, PK fire, fair, nair, dare. Oh my god, he has like everything. Yeah, and the Latin's gonna take that first game. I was very doubtful of Samus because, you know, Lucina also works in this matchup, but you know what? It might be just a comfort pick, might be just thinking, okay, I'll just play on this matchup, see how it goes first, and then, yeah, it worked out. Barely reaching the 60% mark on that last stop there. Oh, yeah. I mean,. Next time we play the popcorn matchup, I'm making sure I play with you because you put the butter on the popcorn enough percent <laughs> and it tastes good. Some people don't even get the right percent of, of butter on the popcorn, man. It just feels like you're eating just nothing. Wow. Nothing that gets stuck to your teeth, too. Oh, <laughs> that's worse. That's how to play the popcorn matchup with friends, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you play the grab with the pivot and the forward, th forward air. It's the platform, but no reset. Yep. I mean, just that regular grab that you see from Sam is just as outrange as the rope snake very reliably, so you can just outrange Lucas. Oh. It's very difficult. Now all of a sudden Lucas is the one that looks a little bit stubby, even though he has those disjoints with the PSI moves. Neutral air on the shield. There's the grab, puts him off the stage. And he waits for the commitment on coming back. Oh yeah, oh. easy snipe. He just knew, it was like, okay, I'll just have this charge shot ready. He thought he could fake him out, but uh, looked like he just knew the exact timing. Solid drift back from the neutral afterwards, making sure he was going to escape anything cheeky from Lucas, usually a forward air. Could follow up. Yeah. Lining up air into another one in the platform extension, and he immediately the downer, but you can't come back from that low, even with bomb ball. Oh my god, the dashbacks from Volada. Dashback from Samus is so good just because you still have so many options in the range. Wow, misses, calls out the miss tech and gets an up smash out of it. Solid damage coming from Muffin. Oh, tries to check the shield with a jab yet again, but unfortunately went for the second one. Blinding there, put him off the stage here. All right, guess that grab. Gonna put him off stage. Oh, he's just waiting for the pressure. He's just waiting for a reaction. <laughs> but Muffin just says, okay, I've been trying to go inside the stage a little bit too much. Let me just fade back and then try to get some room going because it yeah. looks like Valadin has all this room to work with. Let me just not try and talent that because, again, that dash back is such a good option coming from Samus. And you mentioned it earlier. If you preemptively forward air when your opponent goes for a jump, chances are you win the battle on that one. And that's what we saw from Valadin. He preemptively forward air. He's able to catch Muffin before he gets the forward air himself. Forward tilt and the solid dash back to get the grab here. Put him off the stage. PK freeze. Stall yourself as much as possible, but you're able to get around the PK Thunder with a B the screw attack. Yeah, looks like everyone's been tagging that up B, <laughs> the, the PK Thunder recently. Oh, oh, tries to be right outside the range. And again, jab one into pressure. Grants that grab. Very nice stuff. Charge shot is still available, but the fair will just be enough to do it. Mm -hmm. Now he can set it up for an early percent combo, maybe try to do a full charge charge shot into a grab, but he uses it <laughs> to protect himself at the ledge, but not going to be able to come back from it. Solid arm understanding too from Muffin as well, because he saw he was going to go for the neutral arm the ledge to come back, even set up possibly for a jab afterwards. Charge up, up smash, not going to confirm it at the platform. Up smash is a terrible move in this game. I don't know <laughs> why it is, but people can actually fall out of it, and it's just ridiculously sad. I mean, it just happens sometimes, man. It's like even the best. Can you player. imagine though, when you're out here winning a sword fight, like, hey man, your your, your sword box, your sword hit box, it just happens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. The missile in the face tries to apply some pressure on the platform, but catches him trying to land and just gets that back air afterwards. Sam is able to, because of her floatiness, just throw out a lot of air heals before she lands on the ground. So oh. many opportunities. Jab one into two. That's not a true combo. But Valadin was not, or excuse me, Muffin was not ready for it. Oh, a good mix up on the empty hops, right? He went for back air. He went for forward air. Here's another attempt. Catch the landing here. Where do you have to go back air on the RAR? Oh, yeah. He's trying to bait out that PSI magnet and catch oh, the tail end of it. Oh, what a mix up, man. All shampoo, no con all the conditioner. Oh man, rinse it out and take that 20 so far.
Yeah, looking at it, potentially a 3-0. I think Muffin's just kind of stuck. Just, uh, Valadin is on top of it, on the pressure. He just knows how to elicit a reaction out of him. Yeah. And then knows how he's trying to come back into the stage and just has that spacing down to the T. He even checks the block, dude, like you mentioned it earlier, right? You just check the block with the grab. Okay, with the jab. Okay, no no grab. All right, fine. Let me back off on something else here. Yeah, exactly. Jab one is just so quick when you're able to dash back. And that's what I'm talking about. Samus is so good at <laughs> doing that. <laughs> well, that's the thing about uh, play, uh, characters. We talked about it, right? In Smash 4, it was kind of prevalent. In this game, it's extremely prevalent, right? Yes. In the meta, there are so many characters that we don't get to see play because of how other characters are buffed. In this game, it's just people have not put in work yet. We saw Prime Saga, YB, getting like the highest placing Samus, super strong, quick. And another great Samus main and ZSS. Yeah, just had the upset over Salem. And then YB, of course, getting 13th there. And it looks like the story of the Metroid characters continues here with Valadin here, potentially moving on to winner's finals here at Hat. I we'll mean, have to see. Sometimes sagas are a trilogy, man. And hopefully we start to see sagas part two or part three. But we'll see how things will play out so far between Valadin, because this is going to be part three, or will this be part four? It's the down air and the back air puts Muffin off the stage. Check the landing here and the bomb ball. A really good opportunity to possibly get a shield break because it does do damage on the bounce. Doesn't and even need it. Just gets that dash attack to set up the kill. It's not that great of a combo move anymore in this game, but you know, it just straight up kills. You know, we'll take that also. <laughs> oh man, you, you were thirsty for that one, man. Yeah. And it would have connected because of Samus' tall hitbox. Her yeah. box. We'll have to see. Oh, that's going on with the run off there. Not quite able to find it, but the end lag on that catches the roll back in and just enough space to be able to solicit that. Back air? Okay. That's the opportunity for Muffin to understand the minute that Valadin goes for empty hop at the ledge. He, chances are he's going for back air. The one thing we haven't seen uh, Valadin do in terms of get up attacks, he doesn't go for Zare. That's because Muffin always tries to find spacing or he stays relatively close enough. Yeah. Oh. Jump is sniped. What is he going to do? Just try to get a bomb setup and that last lasting up tilt. But the pressure from the PSI Magnet thought that he could potentially catch that charge shot on the release. But just, oh, oh, okay. Okay, you know, man. okay yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Reflect it back. It's not even the charge shot, too, that he could have gotten. It's actually the fact that it's the hitbox you get, right? And the, the knockback you get after from getting hit by the reflect the, the absorption yep. of PSI Magnet. And immediately just Vladimir just jumped over the actual hitbox he gets in there. Coming out to stock through two versus one. The lad in favor here, and he goes over the missile. Yeah, this time around, he's just like, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing the PSI magnet anymore. I'm just going <laughs> to go for a little reflector this time if I have enough time to do it. And the neutral air, putting him off stage one more time. He's going there? real low for it. Oh. Oh, he, he went super low for that, but. He, he wants to make sure he gets into it. Not only that, he forces Muffin to go low. He's been forcing Muffin to go all low all game. Yeah. Back air, okay. It's no, no safe poke. Yeah, he's just using that charge shot to bait out the forward smash and then potentially get something else and just elicit another mix-up out of him. Not even in the charge shot too as well. He goes for the missile to force either Muffin to go for a reflector or go for an aerial and then he catches him with the forward air, right? You mentioned it earlier, just preemptively going for it just pays off very, very, very well. Jab check. Oh, he tried to find the pressure. This time trying to finish it off with a forward smash. Not quite. And Muffin is going to find his own this time around, but still, Valadin with a very nice lead. Gets that pummel into the grab, puts him off stage one more time. The charge shot, not quite going to be able to connect, but still catches him in the air after trying to jump over the missile again. You mentioned it, man. I mean, I don't know. People, I feel like you know he's <gasps> matching yourself. Oh, he tried to go for the down smash. I thought that was so dangerous. That down smash is so laggy. Could just charge shot him right in the face. Oh, not quite going to be able to find it, though. confirmed into that one, too, because it pops you up. All right, here's a snake into the fair. There's the forward tilt and the watch, the landing. There's the neutral air, man. Poor Muffin. Yeah, but Had to fight all the people who knows how he plays. Yeah. I mean, just in general, I mean, Lucas is a character that has a really nice out of shield option with that nair and that dare to be able to set up for reversals. But Samus is one of those characters we saw, the jab one, just so fast. How do you react to that? You just kind of yeah. have to You just kind of have to accept that. You saw that he tried to go for nair out of shield to be able to punish.